thoughts. So um, you need to sort of explain to your patient that I'm just going to check the sensation, compare one side to the other. So all I will do, whether it was a tissue or the back of your hand, you just find um, all you'll feel is I'm just going to do that on your skin and check both sides. I want you to keep your eyes closed and if you feel anything different, one side to the other, just let me know. Okay. Um, now, as I say, there is a dermatome map for the lower limb and there is one for the upper limb. And you don't have to follow that, but you need to have an, an awareness of that map. So that's something you just need to go away and, and, and have a look at. Generally, again, you will see this demonstrated differently. Um, I was always, well, I wasn't always taught, but progressively taught to look at doing the dermatome circumferentially. So i.e. you go round like so. So you're capturing a number of, uh, sorry, yeah, dermatome. You're capturing a number of dermatomes at the same time. So rather than just mapping them all out, you, by going round, you, you, you're basically picking up more than one dermatome. The dermatome maps in the textbooks are the maps based on a number of studies. They are not written in stone. So you're not going to have the same demarcation line for every single patient. So that's why it's useful to go circumferentially, find where the area is, then you can focus in with your pink prick, etc. And then you can start to think about which myotome, sorry, which dermatome is it likely to be. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So again, just close your eyes for me and then you're going to go around, so circumferentially, you're okay there? Yeah? Still feel the same? And obviously, we're presuming he's, he's healthy here, he's not reported any problems. So you're going to go all the way around, all the way down. Light touch. The issue with using the backs of your hands is sometimes you can press a little bit more firmly on one side than the other. Okay? so. Um, that's where a tissue can be, can be quite useful. But if you're doing it gently enough, then it should, be, it should be good enough in most cases. And then all the way down. And then again, when you get to the foot, you may decide that you're going to do this rather than circumferentially, but you can just go over the top of the foot in exactly the same way. Obviously, I'm, not, I'm talking to you guys, I'm not asking him all the time, but you should do. Everything feel the same. Yeah, does that feel the same? Keep talking all the time. Any doubt in the patient's mind, you check it. And if you think, oh, it's okay, he's just been a bit vague, doesn't matter, got to check it. It's like when a patient says, you know, you say to somebody, um, how does that feel? You say, oh, it's, it, yeah, it's okay. And you, you can tell that when they say it's okay, sometimes it's bothering them, so you say, well, you have to unpick that a little bit. Likewise with this, the smallest thing might be significant. So you've got to go in and... Check. So dermatomes going circumferentially.